I'd like to introduce James from the United States who takes LDM for multiple sclerosis. Thank you for joining me, James. Thank you very much. Now, we have spoken before and we, we interviewed you a few years back. Could you tell our listeners when you were diagnosed with MS? I was diagnosed 15 years ago and I was diagnosed because I had lost the vision in my right eye. Um, six months later, I really just like almost couldn't get out of bed to go to work. Mm -hmm. And that's when they diagnosed me and started me on their regime. <laughs> yeah. And and how old so were you then, James? I was 40 years old. Mhm. Mm and and how did that impact on your life being diagnosed with MS? You know, at first it really didn't have I I wasn't aware of what the disease was and what it was going to do to me or what it could do to me. Um so it really didn't impact it much, but as time went on, it definitely slowed me down and eventually I I stopped working. And that was actually probably not till 10 years later. Mm -hmm. But it definitely changed my lifestyle. Had to give up a lot of things, had to change a lot of things, but you, you do what you got to do. And you were saying about uh, going on the regime of drugs. What drugs did you try? <clears throat> well, it, it's, at the very beginning, um, I didn't want to try anything that Western medicine had, the Avonex, the Tisabri, everything else, Copaxin. I went with um, Ayurvedic medicine, acupuncture. I tried every alternative thing there was from A to Z, including bee venom therapy, and you name it, I tried it. And then when that didn't, it wasn't, it was doing okay, and I was feeling all right, but I wasn't feeling as good as I, I wanted to. Mm -hmm. And my nurse practitioner convinced me to try Avonex, the once-a-week shot. And I said, okay. And after a year of that, I knew I ended up in the hospital. I was, I was just, I was in such bad shape from doing the Avonex once a week. I got out of there, and then we tried to Sabri, and my body um, had anti produced antibodies against it to Sabri, so that was out. And I tried the Copaxin shots, and I felt like a a rock. My whole body felt like a rock when I tried that. So I said, this isn't going to work. And I, they had another pill I tried. I said, this ain't working. It wasn't going over well. And then I found LDN. Mm -hmm. And I was one of the lucky people, I think, that I was in, I think I was in really good shape that the first night I took it, I woke up in the morning, and there was a difference. I, it was like I woke up. It was like um, shades had opened up and the light was coming in. I felt an immediate, immediate difference. And within a week, I started noticing even more differences. And the hardest thing for me was to start re-educating myself about MS and what it had done to me because what I couldn't do, now I can. So slowly but surely, I start kept trying to do things more and more, and I kept finding out, I can do this. And mm -hmm. in five years, and everything's been great. You were telling me five years. <laughs> You were telling me that you have recently had a, another MRI? Yes, I had an MRI before I started the LDN, sort of by coincidence, um, just because of all the Western drugs I was trying, they wanted to see where I was at. And yes, yeah, so I started, I got the MRI and it's been five years and I just went in two weeks ago and I have a clean MRI. I have no new lesions, not a one in five years. Wow. And I've just been feeling better and better and better every day. Mm -hmm. Until now, because I broke my ankle the other day, but I'm still okay. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Is LDN helping so go, with the on. pain? I'm sorry? Is LDN helping with the pain if you broke an ankle? <laughs> I, I'm not, yes. <clears throat> I think I'm, I'm healing quickly too, I think. I don't know if it's the LDN or, or something, but you know, I was like, after three days, I, was, I had a boot on and I was walking around. Wow. So, and I have That's other nice. friends who have tried LDN for different things and, and the response is just phenomenal. 
um, one friend of mine who has COPD, which I know is one of the things that they were looking at, but he started it because <clears throat> he saw how well I was doing. He says, you know, something's got to be good about this thing. He eliminated one of his prescription drugs two days later after he started it. His afternoon dosage of whatever it was, it's eliminated. And he's like, I would, I would exchange that any day of the week. I don't care if it doesn't completely cure, cure me. But my God, just eliminating things is, is making me feel so much better. Oh, so nice. So it's like it's, it's it's wonderful, and I've gotten a lot of other people. I've talked to a lot of people here in the states about LDN. I've got a lot of people uh, with MS on LDN, and the results, I'd say, eighty five percent of the time are good. <clears throat> There's been a couple of people who said, "Yeah, I really don't feel much difference." I said, okay, well, you gave it a shot. That's all you can do. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but it's... And, um, go ahead. It's amazing at how many different conditions that LDN could potentially help for. And like you said, it worked quickly for you. But there are quite a few people who don't really notice anything until they've been taking it for four months. I just wanted to say that so people didn't think after the first day if they hadn't had any reaction, that it wasn't going to work for them. <laughs> You'll be surprised. Really, you, go up, you go up for four months without having any differences before some people feel... Yes. Um, feel- a, a lot of the doctors that I've interviewed and um, patients who've been on LDN, four months seems to be the, the normal marker. You know, they, they notice something by four months. Um, but... There are people like yourself who notice something after taking the first one. Personally, and I take LDM for MS, it took three weeks before I noticed anything. And the first thing I noticed, I had terrible cognitive problems. It was though English was my second language. I couldn't recall vocabulary. I'd lose my threads of what I was saying. Um, it came out rubbish, basically. But And I'd lost the hearing in my left ear, I had double vision, I had no balance. and So in my head I felt very disorientated, if you like. And after three weeks it was just like a television set being tuned in. You know, I could suddenly think, hear, see clearly. It was amazing. Really amazing. It's interesting because most of the people I've talked to, within the first two weeks they see... They seem to feel some difference. Mm-hmm. And I usually, when I talk to people, I say, if you haven't felt anything within a month, this might not work for you. It's interesting that you're saying it takes so much longer because I never gave it that much longer with, with most people. Mm. Well, you want to tell them four months. <laughs> but when we. Okay, I will. Thank you. And when we did our. I'll definitely do that. Our first survey, we found that some people didn't. You know, if you've got a progressive disease and you can hold the progression, that's fantastic. It's still working. But we had some people where they had no improvements at all, but they hadn't deteriorated. And then after 15 to 18 months, they started to get symptom relief. So that's the other side of the scale, which, yeah, why that is, I really don't know. But um, as I say, being a progressive disease, if you can hold the progression, that's an amazing thing anyway. Yes, and I have for five years now. <clears throat> and one of the nicer things, excuse me, one of the nicer things is my um, resistance to heat or my um, tolerance to heat mm-hmm. has improved more and more every year because I used to be a summer person and what I'm asked was like, you know, summertime, no good for me. Yes. But now... Every year for the past five years, I've been going out more, again, retraining myself, see what I can do now that I now that I am on LDN. And it's just little things like, and, and when I go to the gym, now I'm going, I stopped going for a while because I really just didn't have the energy. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to the gym three times a week. Gosh. And I started with just minimal, and I'm getting more and more. And just recently, I started getting back on the bike and, you know, really doing some, like, aerobic exercises where the heating up is not as bad as it was before. Mm-hmm. It's, again, really, the retraining of myself has been a real, that's actually been an interesting challenge. See what I can do. Check this out. Go, you know, go here. 
I still incorporate <clears throat> all my aerobatics and my herbs and acupuncture. I still really enjoy those things, and they definitely make me feel better, but they're not as much of a necessity. Mm-hmm. Now it's more like, I know how healthy I can be on this, so let me just take this and LDN and and here I am. I I really feel great. Even with a broken ankle right now, my spirits are high, and I'm I'm healing quickly. Thank you very much great. for sharing your story with us, James. Well, I'm glad I I hope somebody grabs a hold and and, and tries it. Just try it. There's no harm in trying it. So I try to tell people. 